The DSTV HD decoder used to be very, very interesting. It used to be like this. It has a smart card. <laughs> you can actually pull out your card and visit another person that used this smart card. LMB in, which is RF in and RF out. It has uh, AV audio. It has HDMI and all options. So you can, from the RF out, you know, feed multiple televisions. But recently, <laughs> DSTV has, you know, removed a lot of options and brought out a new decoder that is called the Zappa decoder. So this is what the HD decoder looks like. And this is the limited options they have. You have only LMB in, which is RF in, and then you have USB input here. You have the HDMI and then you have the AVI that is not even like AVI. So you gotta use uh, <laughs> a kind of a 3.5 mm <laughs> plugin to access the AVI. And that's about that on this decoder. So the big challenge is how do you now share to two TVs when you don't have RF out and um, uh, all you have is the two options, either you're using HDMI or you're using this uh, AV that has 3.5 mm inputs. So what are we going to do? What we're going to do is that, okay, we decided that we're gonna use HDMI for the big TV uh, because you know <laughs> that would be better for the big TV. But then we want to run to the other TV in the other room, maybe for the kids. And then we're gonna to try to use this. Unfortunately, this cannot even, this is just as long as it is. So our experiment in this video will be, we're gonna use a LAN cable. If you can see, a LAN cable has, it has up to eight connection of wires that we can use to achieve this that has about six connection of different wires, you know, to expand the length across two rooms. Then I have two options also to use a CAT 6 E and then CAT 5 cable to extend it. So let me hear from you in the comment section, which cable do you think I should use to extend it? And then let's jump right in and let me show you uh, the work of how I'm gonna extend that. So the HDMI output and the AV output here will give you the same channel. It's the same thing that they will output. But since I already have a smart TV that I have DSTV stream on, I can as well link up the, the kits, you know, <laughs> with the AVI and then not pay for that extra view. I mean, that's why DSTV is reduced this so people can pay for extra view. So remember, this is an experiment. And the reason why I'm doing this experiment is because um, I know that the quality that could come out from this CAT cable. I've used CAT 6 cable before for IP uh, cameras and the quality was good. So I'm like, okay, why not try it with DSTV in about 15 meters difference between uh, the three rooms uh, so that I can see how it works. So the goal is to see the quality of this and then I'll guide you to understand the configuration, how you join the wires, you know, and every other thing you do. But uh, I have the strong feeling that this will work out well. And if you work out well, HDMI cables are more expensive, the splitters are more expensive, AV cables are cheaper the extension and even the LAN cable wires i don't know how the final video quality will be but um, that's what we're gonna all see in the part two of this video but let me show you how it's going to be done and what we're going to do in this with this you can actually avoid using the extra view and then just connect another tv and good thing is that the other tv is a smart tv so you can actually watch netflix amazon prime youtube everything for the big tv why the other person you know could just be watching uh, <laughs> the DSTV from the one. There's an even DSTV stream on the smart TV, so <laughs> it's even the fun out of it. So uh, let's jump in. Let me show you the things I'm going to do. So this is white. So this is white and red and yellow. So let's confirm it by holding this one here and then measuring yellow is this one. As you can hear, the beep. This one will not beep. This one will not beep. So the next one is red. Hey, you mustn't necessarily know, but it has been important to tell you the configuration of the EV cable. And as you can see, so I'm going to cut this cable. So in this, uh, I'm going to solder them because, you know, I always like to solder things when I'm bored. Uh, I've shown you the configuration and then you can also use, you know, tape to join the wire, but I'll solder it and that will be in the part two when I'll show you all the details and where we'll check out the quality of this extension. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I've shown you all the things that will be required and how you're going to connect, test and know which cable is which. You have to know the audio and the video cables and know which one corresponds on the head. 
Um, so uh, in the part two, we're going to actually show you the distance, which is about 10 to 12 meters. And then the quality, we're going to compare the quality on the HDMI Big TV and then the AVI extension via cable, <laughs> LAN cable on the other TV. And then let's see whether it's worth it. Let's know whether it's something you can try. So make sure to subscribe. Click on that subscribe button <laughs> to see that. And turn on the notification bell icon to see that video immediately we upload it. Um, I'll see you in the next one. It is peace to our world. Subscribe. I'll see you.